About 50, 60 years ago, behind us was bustling. We are in the Paper City in Holyoke. We're here with Andrew from the Connecticut River Watershed Council. Now, this space uh, used to be something amazing, even though it still is. Great. So we're a little bit farther up from uh, Windsor Locks, but we're at another falls on the river because you saw a lot of communities that formed around waterfalls. So the Hadley Falls, it's about 60 feet high, and back in the 1840s, people said, wow, there's a lot of power there. And so that's when the canal started to be dreamed about in Holyoke. Now, these canals aren't used for transportation, and the falls here are used purely for steam, or uh, rather for power. That's right. So the uh, developers of Holyoke said there's a whole lot of power in the river, so they put a dam up and then they started digging. And you got four and a half miles of canals here, and they figured out that with that much water coming through, they could power 400 mills. So there was a lot of water going through, and it's three parallel canals. And so the water comes up through the first, goes through mills into the second, through mills, and then down into the third. So it kind of does a zigzag through town and then goes back out into the river. At its height, let's talk about the dam in Holyoke, the, you know, the, the, the top point of Holyoke's prestige. What was it like? So yeah, they put the first dam in in 1848, and you know one of the funny stories is the first dam, it was log crib, it lasted about two hours. And so the engineer for the dam sent a cable to the owners and uh, he said, your dams gone to hell downstream. So they did it again, put a dam in, and then that lasted for a while. And in 1900, the dam you see now in Holyoke is a granite structure, that big, massive, strong structure. Now these days, the paper mills uh, might have gone by the wayside, but there's new technology that's actually still using dam water today. That's correct. So Holyoke's vision is a 21st century vision. They were innovators. It was one of the first planned cities in America, along with Patterson, New Jersey, and Lowell, Massachusetts. And so what Holyoke wants to do is use the water power from their dam, it's a city utility, to be able to bring in modern 21st century industry. So when we look down the canal here, you can see the High Performance Computing Center. And that's a state public-private project to put a whole lot of computing horsepower right here in Holyoke that can be contracted out to do work. And it's powered by water. 21st century, the river is still helping to power us. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And you can help preserve the Connecticut River. That's true. So here's what you need to do. You need to donate to them. You need to sign up as a new member. CTRiver.org, that's the website. If they raise $10,000 doing it, there's an anonymous donor who's pretty cool, if you ask me. He's go, uh, he or she is going to be gifting $5,000 to the organization. If you want more information, it's at CTRiver.org.